हेलो व्यूअर्स यू आर ऑल वेलकम टू माय चैनल व्यूअर्स टुडेज टॉक इज फोकस्ड ऑन हाउ द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई 2019 विल बी फॉर जेमनी जोरियाक साइन व्हाट प्लानिटरी ट्रांजिट इन द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई इंडिकेट्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ पीस प्रोग्रेस हैप्पीनेस मैरिज करियर प्रमोशंस प्रोग्रेस अपॉर्चुनिटीज and business expansions let me tell you the gemians are passing through one of the most changeable important phase of their life after 15th of july if you see the chart of gemian for the month of july 2019 you can find that in their first house the planet of love romance and luxury Shukracharya Venus is going to transit over their Rashi along with exalted Rahu that means over their first house two important planet of astrology Venus and Rahu together will combine its effect over their first house over their Rashi Rahu stays in one sign for 18 months and it's an exaltation point it's an rajyog of par excellence your personality will find a total change in your destiny in your creative efforts you will try for new areas in terms of education business and success story some of you may write some of the bigger success story after july particularly as long as rahu stays in germany that is for 18 months let me tell you rahu is in this position for you over your rashi after a pretty long time and that is also in rajyog position and that is also it is being aspected from sagittarius ketu astrologer says it is also ketu's exaltation point so ketu is also aspecting and saturn from sagittarius is also aspecting your first house that means chaturgrahi yoga venus rahu saturn ketu they are all aspecting each other hence your first house has become a mega powerful for you for earning lot of money happiness success story you can write good job opportunities in administrative post banking finance law medical engineering foreign journeys for marriage for engagement for love and romance your personality is going to take a mega change the impact will be more felt in the 18 months but of course the line of action you are going to choose during this transit is going to shape your destiny in the coming 5 years and the mahadashas which are running for you if it is a positive planet then you are the most fortunate and if it is of negative planet the result will be 50% viewers in gemini's second house in the month of july sun mercury and mars will be transiting sun and mercury no doubt is creating buddhadita yoga although sun in cancer means moon's house it is a weak little bit and mars is nicha debilitated in the second house is a very important house if it is nicha mangal is there then you have to be very careful uh, already the rajyog for your financial growth new job opportunities but be very careful with your relationship with your uh, health do not drive fast vehicles take care of all relationship take care of your finance also otherwise somebody will deceive you or some woman may be part of the controversy anything connected with mangal manglik uh, karya you have to be careful because now mars is powerless let's see further viewers in your 6th house devaguru brihaspati over vrishchik rashi is going to transit and that is the mangal's house and the mangal means mars is nicha debilitated in your second house so uh, for sixth house matter also you have to take uh, precautionary steps what sixth house refers i am going to narrate you further in your seventh house saturn the karmic planet along with ketu the moksha karaka in dhanu rashi a saturnian sign sorry a jupiterian sign so saturn ketu combination indicates a stable marriage a stable business a stable relationship religious journey foreign journey 
business growth, maturity and destiny change. The beauty of your transit is all your planets are positioned in 180 degree and it's a rare astrological phenomenon for Geminian which clearly indicates in terms of personal life, in terms of career growth, in terms of business growth, in terms of health, you are going to witness total change, total transformation in your life, materialistically also, spiritually also. You can see on the video the planetary position of Geminian. You will find all the planets are positioned in particular uh, portion of the zodiac. Viewers, let's see in detail what holds for Geminian in terms of transit in the month of July 2019. As I said, viewers, in the Geminian's first house, Shukracharya, Venus, and the karmic Rahu together is going to transit, and Rahu is in its exaltation point. In fact, it is a Raj Yoga after a pretty long time of power excellence. In the first house, you will find a lot of changes in your life and course of destiny. What Bhrigu Samhita says about first house. Viewers, as per Bhrigu Samhita, the first house uh, is pertaining to your personality, physical appearance, character, temperament, self-identity, strength, weakness, physical constitution, as well as health. The first house also reflects how you see the outer world and the outer world sees you. The first house indicates your birth's early environment. How, what kind of environment you have received in your uh, new early life and how it has shaped your destiny. The first house, Bhrigu Samhita says, is also connected with your head and upper part of your face. It also tells us how we feel our inner self. It is a house which also indicates a person's destiny and creative capability. If first house is strong, then a person is very positive always and from a scratch he will rose to the dizzling height of success and he will astonish the world by his creative energy and creative activity. The first house in astrology is also turned as Tanubhava. is the house of your body, house of your health. It indicates a person's individuality looks, sexual appeal, attraction, bodily feature, strength and vigor. What kind of fortune and misfortune a person will face as per Bhagavad Samhita is indicated by first house. Now whatever I have said pertaining to first house. Now you have a Rajyog, Rahu exalted and Venus is with Rahu. Although both are Rakshas, no doubt. Hence, they are Rajyog of par excellence, very powerful Rajyog in your life. You will become very creative. It is true that you will be more attuned to materialistic life. You will be more diverted, sometimes perverted also. And Maya will attract you more. And good opportunities in terms of love, job, business growth is also going to be your dame luck. Whatever I have said, in all those areas, you will find a lot of positivity. You will have many friends from both the gender. At the same time, you have to be cautious. Somebody may malign your name and your relationship will be a troublesome also sometimes because Venus Rahu may create more luxury, more attraction, more romance and downfall also. Although it is Rajok for your job, marriage, success, but extra of anything is always bad. Venus Rahu is going to give you a lot of ideas uh, where you can write your own destiny and success story. Very positive, very manglik and the lord of your first house, Mercury, is in your second house with sun. That means it is creating a Raj Yoga called as Buddha Dita Yoga. So the astrological text says Buddha Dita Yoga means a person will join a government job, a private job or a business success, or foreign uh, journey success, or export business, import, or a stock market success story, or some evil construct some building, engineering, finance, banking, or defense service, police department, or a bureaucrat, or a minister like a post. Something is going to happen 
which in the coming time maybe in the five years is going to see you rising up provided your madhashas must be of positive planet if it is running of negative planet then the strength is 50 percent viewers let's see what planet is transiting for the Gemini's, Gemini's second house. As I said earlier, Sun, Mercury and Mars is going to transit in the month of July. Second house is a very important house. As I said earlier, the early environment of a person is indicated by first house. From that, one moves to the second house which relates to immediate family and growing up, Brugu Samita. Your second house is refers to your possessions. Uh, your possessions means tangible as well as intangible. Tangible refers to your house, vehicle, jewelry, diamond and other possessions which you can touch and touch when you solid, solid assets. And intangible refers to uh, the love, affection, emotion, sympathy which people gives you, the care people gives you. These are also assets. This all can be known, can be judged from a person's second house, Brigu Samita. The second house also refers, I mean to say, your feeling, emotion, younger siblings, how you relate to them and also your ability to have more possessions and more fulfilling life. Your finance, valuables, metal goods, precious stone, ability to earn, fortune, these are all part and partial of your second house. Your social reputation, standing is a part and partial of second house. Second house also reflects a person's ability to earn money. And in, in terms of stock, cash, valuable, jewelry, bond, inheritance, your, it doesn't refer to your career or profession. It does refer to your financial standing, financial position, reputation, saving, budgeting, how you manage your debt and finance. In fact, it controls your, Virgo Samhita says, eyes, lower part of face, neck, throat, mouth, cheek, chin, nose, nail, teeth, tongue. Any disease of these organs, Virgo Samhita says, one can find from second house. It also connected with your speech, verbal expression. Brigu Samhita says it is a karaka of speech. That means how much a person is skillful in his communication and how he will shape his destiny by his communication power, written and oral. And how many different language a person knows, we can easily elicit from second house. Now you have Buddha Dita Yoke, although it is weak because it is in Karkarashi, a house owned by Chandrama. But then also it is a Rajyog. At the same time, this Rajyog generally Buddha gives you oratorship, government appointment, a lot of business success, new job, promotion, uh, sudden appointment to administrative position, bureaucratic, banking, finance, medical science, engineering, or ministerial like position. At the same time, because Mangal is there, Nicha, it also creates downfall. So you will find at one time, you will be in Arsh, and other time, you will be in Farsh. That means, highest success and highest fall chances are also there. Because, with Raj Yoga combination of Sun and Mercury, Mangal is Nicha. Nicha Mangal will always try to fall you. Always try to uh, create some kind of problems in your success story. So, you have to take care, wear Mungeki Mala, do prayer of Lord Hanumana, Donate food items to poor people, chant the mantras, say Gayatri Mantra as more and more possible, pray to Lord Durga, seek blessings of elders and I hope the transit is very powerful but we have to also refer both the angle because as I am analyzing scientifically, so we have to see both the angle. We are only telling here the transiting impact. The overall impact is your Kundli also come into contact. The transit effect reflects 50% and 50% is of your Kundli horoscope. Many of you have asked me uh, uh, transiting impact and the Kundli impact. It is true, the combined impact gives more accuracy. But then also transiting, when the planet transit, they are charged. When they are charged, they are capable of giving you the fruits faster. So your planets are moving in the second house sun and mercury so they are charged it is true that mars making them weak but then also you will get manglic result to a larger extent as as the mars changes 
its position in august onwards to other sign you will have a superb rajyog a government job a marriage children's happiness in your life let's see viewers for gemian sign what their sixth house indicates where the divine planet gyana karaka deva guru brihaspati is transiting over scorpio a sign owned by mars mangal and mangal is a mitra of deva guru brihaspati so it's very auspicious some of you may find improvement in your health some of you may find good doctor good hospital you will find your many elements is going to uh, pacified or treatment is responding you will find your children are obeying you are finding you are paying your debts your enemies are annihilated and you will find you are more powerful you are disease free more positive and you are earning also money but at the same time scientifically if i analyze where does jupiter is located in a mars sign vrishchik and where is mars in the month of july in a in a moon sign cancer cancer is a point where mars is weak nicha debilitated so when mars is powerless he cannot give you more positive result pertaining to sixth house but that doesn't means that totally it will give negative if you perform puja prayer we can also get good sixth house results what bhrigu samhita says about sixth house in actual i will say viewers uh sixth house is a house deals with health and well being your ability to fight adversities in life what kind of mistakes you will do in your life how how you face challenge what kind of challenge misfortune you will face what are the shortcomings your personality processes how you deal with mishaps and diseases misfortune opposition enemies crisis it also denotes your unknown fear six thousand is also refer whether in your life you will be employer or employee or entire life you will work under somebody and you it also indicates a relationship between server uh, between the boss and the workers it also indicates your capacity to fight back in front of adversities or disease physical strength it also indicates that how you will win over your enemies obstacle debt difficulties it is generally concerned with your body parts like a stomach intestine digestive tract so viewers as jupiter is there shastra says wherever jupiter is placed it is generally create some kind of disturbance but in this case it will not create because jupiter is in friend's house mars so you will find whatever i referred you will find lot of positivity but the magnitude may be less because mangal is nicha in this case you can wear munga a red colored cloth munga donate come red colored things to the people a red fruit or a red cloth or something connected uh with mars planet any metal you can donate gold silver iron a small quantity can make you powerful rest is okay and fine